Hey, how's it going? I'm Mike, and here are your midweek announcements. First up, we've got Rich Thiessen, our board chair, with a recap of our family nights from last week. Hello, church family. Thank you to so many of you who joined us at the end of April for our family gatherings. It was so clear that we are moving towards health, and there is a hopeful spirit growing. Some of us couldn't attend the family gatherings, so I want to do a quick update. As some of you know, I was not able to attend because of COVID. Thanks for your prayers and consideration. Everett Dirksen presented our, on our financial health. Coming out of this past season of leadership challenges, change, and the pandemic, our attendance is smaller and in turn, our giving is down. And we are monitoring this closely. We continue to be in a healthy cash position in this season as we prayerfully consider our new reality, we anticipate a smaller budget for this year, next year and look forward to sharing some of our possible steps at the June AGM on June 20th. Most of you have met Preston Bush, who is our new transitional pastor. Preston has been hired on a three-month rotating contract, which means we reevaluate every three months. Preston talked about the role of transitional ministry. This is a significantly different from an interim pastor. Preston's main focuses are moving the staff and congregation towards health. The board laid out four main goals that we are working towards this time. We have been meeting every two weeks to ensure we are up to date on what is happening and where leadership is needed. Goal one, gain a snapshot of congregational health. At the end of May, we will be using the Reveal survey to evaluate our overhaul church health. This survey gives us glimpses in our areas of strength so we can build on these and areas of weaknesses so we can work on these. By God's grace, we will move forward together stronger as a church and the congregation in spiritual health. Part of this work is done from the pulpit and we really have a gifted speaking team to guide us through this. Goal two, continue equipping staff and journeying with them. Preston has been given excellent leadership to this, and we will continue to work with the EFCC and the Prairie District offices. He shared that there is growing health with our staff. Some have discussed that they feel that they are able to share again, pray together, and openly minister together. One even shared that it is good to laugh again. God is using Preston's shepherd heart with the staff. Goal three. Timeline for hiring a new lead pastor. We really don't have an answer for this yet, but we are prayerfully discussing. We are moving forward, but with caution. Our goal is to have clear direction on all of this before the end of this year. Goal four, engage the congregation in active participation. We've been asked, how can our congregation actively participate? What can we do? We welcome our congregation to step in to love your neighbor, serve each other and the church, attend and participate. We also want to encourage our congregation to give financially to the work. Each of us should find our niche and step in to join what God is doing. Most importantly, pray for our board, pray for our staff and for Preston. We really need to each of us expand our capacity to love one another through this season. One of the highlights of the meeting was hearing from Ken Dosso and Kylie Dubber about how God is working in our church family. This is so exciting. Thank you to our staff for leading well. Communication. We know that during transition, a congregation needs communication. We are continuing to update our family regularly. Because of COVID, we have been used to using video updates. With restrictions now lifted, we plan to meet more regularly. We anticipate that our next family gathering will be on May 29th. Mark your calendars. In the meantime, don't hesitate to reach out to the board, either in person or through our email, board at efreelethbridge.ca. We welcome your questions and appreciate your prayers. May God be glorified as we continue to journey together. We are excited to announce that the Seniors Sing and Dine is back. On Wednesday, May 11th, spend the day at Southern Alberta Bible Camp and enjoy a delicious meal, fellowship, and a hymn sing. 
For more details, call the church office or go to efreelethbridge.ca slash primetimers. Registration deadline is Monday, May 9th. We are holding a prayer and worship night on Friday, May 13th. Join us in the gym at 7 p.m. as we gather for a time of worship, fellowship, and prayer. This event is open to anyone, so we hope to see you there. When thinking of the month of May, one of the first things that comes to mind is Mother's Day. So this month, our theme is Basics for Babies. We're gonna be collecting items that babies need, like diapers and wipes, formula, baby food, and then we're gonna donate those to the Lethbridge Pregnancy Care Center and the You and Your Child program at Victoria Park High School. Let's fill up those shelves and support the littlest ones in our community. On Saturday, May 14th, the Intercultural Community will be gathering for a celebration dinner. This will be a special time to celebrate those who have received their permanent residence status or have become Canadian citizens during the past two years. For more details of this event, go to efreelethbridge.ca slash intercultural. Well, that's all that we have for now. We'll see you on Sunday.